So welcome to module 2.3. We will now uh, basically explain how a two's complement number is generated. So suppose uh, it is a positive number, we just take the binary representation, normal binary representation. Let us again go back to n equal to 3, right. So if it is 0, it is always 0 is treated as positive. So 0, 0, 0, this is the sign bit. 1, 2 and 3, this is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is uh, the for the positive side. But then if you just look back into what we have done, it, it was 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 and we made this minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. The interesting thing is that all the negative numbers you see here the first bit is 1. So if the first bit is 1 you know that it is a negative number and this is how we have represented. right? The interesting uh, the other part is that since we are trying to uh, uh, map subtraction and addition together the n equal to 3 cycle had basically 8 steps. So, if I want to go one step backward, it is equivalent to seven steps forward. If I want to take two steps on the anti-clockwise sense, sorry, one step on the anti-clockwise sense, that is subtract minus one, it is seven steps forward or clockwise. Two steps anti-clockwise is six steps, three step is five step, four step is four step again. Right? And what you see here is this 7 is 111 in decimal, 6 is 110, 5 is 101 and 4 is 100. So if I say subtract 4 or subtract 5, it means uh, subtract, subtract 3 that is minus 3, that means go 3 steps anti-clockwise that is equal to going 5 steps clockwise. So subtracting 3 means go that many step of its representation clockwise. So subtracting 3 means move that many steps of its representation. What is its representation of minus 3? 101. So 101 is 5. So subtract 3 means go 5 steps anti clockwise. Subtract 2 means go 6 steps clockwise. So this is how you are and moving clockwise is basically addition. So this is how your uh, mm, subtraction actually becomes addition in two's complement representation. The next thing that we need to learn here is given a number, how do you find its two's complement representation? For example, <coughs> suppose suppose I am given say three, right? I want to find out minus three. So given this number 3, say 0, 1, 1, suppose I complement it, complement every bit, that is do the not of every bit, I get 1, 0, 0. So this is 3, this is 3 complement. So let me say this is A, this is A complement. Now what is A plus A complement? You will get 1, 1, 1 every time, any number. So let us take uh, say um, 1. 0, 0, 1. 1's complement is 1, 1, 0. This is 1, this is 1's complement. So 1 plus 1's complement is again 1, 1, 1. So what is 1, 1, 1 in uh, this thing? This is, so if I have n bits, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, n times is nothing but 2 power n minus 1, right? For example, 3 bits, 1, 1, 1 is nothing but 2 power 3 minus 1 which is 7, right. So A plus A's complement is 2 power n minus 1, right, right. So A's complement is 2 power n minus 1 minus A. So if you add A's complement plus 1, this is 2 power n 
minus C. Right? Right? So 2 power n minus A is nothing but A's complement plus 1. Now, if I say subtract 3, that means I have to move 8 minus 3 steps clockwise. What is 8? 2 power 3. Right? So, what is 2 power n minus A? It is the 2's complement representation of minus A. Right? For example, what is 2 power n minus 1? In this case 2 power 3, 8 minus 1, it is 7. 7 is the 2's complement representation of minus 1. Similarly, two, 8 minus 2 is 6, 6 is the 2's complement representation of minus 2. And 8 minus 3 is 5, 5 is the 2's complement representation, representation of minus 3. And of course, 4 is the 2's complement representation of minus 4. Right? So, so given any number, any uh, any n bit number, the way we get its two's complement representation is as follows. Let this n bit number be a one, uh, sorry, a a a n minus one, sorry, a n a n minus one to a one. You complement all the bit, so you get a one bar, a n a n minus 1 bar a n bar and add 1 to it. So, this would be the 2's complement rep representation. So, just as an example, if I want uh, 2's complement representation two's complement representation of say minus 3, take 3 first that is 0 1 1 invert it 1 0 0 add 1 1 0 1 note that the 2's complement representation of minus 3 is 1 0 1 right similarly 2's complement representation of minus 2 minus to take 2 2 is 0 1 0 2's um, complement of that as uh, in uh, complement of it which be 1 0 1 <coughs> Add uh, add one to this, it will become one one zero. One one zero is the two's complement representation of minus two. So this is how we generate the two's complement representation. So all the integers that are basically stored inside the computer will be stored in two's complement representation, and any arithmetic, the uh, arithmetic in terms of subtraction or addition, will be just uh, you know addition here. So just add the two numbers given. And you will get a, uh, and you will get another number, which will be the two's complement representation, which will also be in its two's complement representation. So this is how basically uh, the entire arithmetic works. So all the signed integers will be in this two's complement representation. Now we'll just uh, uh, sum up this module by saying: suppose I have n bits, <coughs> I can represent between minus 2 power n minus 1 to plus 2 power n minus 1 minus 1. For example, with n equal to 3, I could represent from minus 4 to that is uh, minus 2 power 3 minus 1 minus 2 squared 4 to plus 3, which is 2 power mm, <coughs> 2 minus 1. Right? So, with uh, 3 bits, I can represent from minus 4 to plus 3. Right? Now, one of the things that we need to keep in mind is uh, overflow in the case of uh, two's complement representation. So, let us go back to the circle that we did. So, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3 minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Suppose I am adding 1 plus 2, 0, 0, 1 plus 0, 1, 0, I am getting 0, 1, 1. So, 1 plus 2 is 3. Suppose I am subtracting 2 minus 3. So, 2 minus 3 is 1, 0, 1. I get 1, 1, 1. What is 1, 1, 1? 
is minus 1. So, this is 2, this is minus 3, the answer is minus 1. Automatically, you get 1, 1, 1, which automatically represents minus 1. We need not do any conversion here. Suppose I am adding 2 plus 3, 0, 1, 0 plus 0, 1, 1, right, 2 plus 3. So, I, I get 1, 1, 0, 1. What is 1, 0, 1 in this representation? Please note that 1, 0, 1 is minus 3. 1, 0, 1 is minus 3. So, I am adding 2, I am adding 3, 2 plus 3, I should have, I should have got 5, but in this representation 1, 0, 1 is minus 3. So, essentially this addition has caused an overflow. Because please note that 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 cannot be represented using 3 bits because using 3 bits I can only represent from minus 4 to plus 3. So, I cannot represent 5 here. So, automatically this lands up in a overflow. Similarly, if I do say minus 2 minus 1, minus 2 minus 1. So, what is minus 2? 1 1 0. What is minus 1? 1 1 1. Please add them. 1 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1. 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 as you see here. Okay. So, I will again do it here. 1 1 0 plus 1 1 1 1. 1 plus 1 is 0. 1 plus 1 goes as a carry, 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 and 1 is a carry. Since it is a 3 bit arithmetic, this carry goes off. We can only store up to 3 bits, this automatically goes away, it is not even stored. So, so 1 0 1, what is 1 0 1? It is minus 3. So, this is minus 2 minus 1 will automatically give you minus 3. But what we see minus 2 minus 3, minus 2 minus 3 is minus 2 is 1 1 0, minus 3 is 1 0 1, I add 1 1, 1 1 0, the carry is 1, this carry anyway will go off, this will give me 0 1 1 which is plus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 should give me minus 5, but it is giving me plus 3, right, because 0 1 1 represents plus 3, this carry will go off because I, this computer can represent only 3, num, 3 bits, so that 1 will not even come into the picture. So, this why it is so this is a wrong result as far as we are concerned 0 1 1 is plus 3 in our representation it is wrong and that has happened because minus 2 minus 3 is going to give me minus 5 and that minus 5 is not within the range of uh, minus 4 to 3. So, this is also sometimes some books call it overflow some books call it underflow because we are going below the uh, negative value. I am trying to get a number which is lesser than this range, minus 5 is lesser than minus 4 or while on the other hand I got a number which is greater than this range. right? So, this is something that we need to uh, underst understand in terms of 2's complement representation. So, with this uh, in the last uh, 2 modules I have covered 2's complement representation wherein binary subtraction becomes binary addition. We have also got a representation for signed integers which we will be using in this course. So, I hope uh, all of you un uh, understood. If you have any doubts, you can put it on the forum, we will try and explain. But there are in uh, Wikipedia and other sources again which explains these two's complement. If whatever I have told is not so clear to you, you can go for a more elaborate treatment of this in, uh, in Wikipedia. But any engineer not just computer scientist or electrical electronics person, every engineer today should understand how integers are indeed represented inside a computer. If you do not have that knowledge, you cannot do anything with computers. So, kindly spend this uh, uh, some time in understanding. I will also try and put a uh, little more in the assignment wherein we, you can uh, we will test your understanding of this two's complement arithmetic. This is very, very important. Thank you very much.